A lot of bleak test anxiety comes from only a few things, and we can change that. We can make that anxiety reduced, manageable, go away. But first we have to understand what these reasons might be. First one, PE at school. PE at school for some was absolutely horrendous. Made to wear that horrible kit, and oh mine was absolutely disgusting. Tight shorts, horrible rugby top, yuck, horrible. Made to do sport and exercise. If you weren't that good at it, you were made to feel fucking awful by the teachers, by the other pupils. You maybe even got told to do the bleep test at some point as well. And because you weren't that good at it, your whole experience of it was just gone. School's awful for some people. Going through all these changes within your body, secondary school especially, changes in your body. Maybe you're a bit overweight, maybe you're a bit unhealthy. You're deemed as unfit, fat, useless. No wonder you're now a bit anxious about the bleep test when you've got to do it to get a job or stay in a job that you love. Reason two. The fear of the unknown. Look, you've got to do a bleep test, you do a wee quick search online. Some people are saying it's fucking easy, the easiest thing ever, can do it backwards in their sleep. Some people are saying it's really, really hard, it's impossible. So you go to have a wee shot and you struggle. Boom, your mindset's gone straight away to that, it must be really, really hard and it's impossible. So you automatically think you're going to struggle with it, you can't do it. Whoosh, the anxiety levels increase. Again, something that can be changed, can be managed, can be reduced. Three. You've never trained properly and you don't know where to start, so you're anxious because of that. Again, online, how do you train for the bleep test? Somebody says, just keep doing the bleep test. Somebody says, do the couch to 5k. Somebody says, run as far as you can. When you can't run any further, spin round 10 times, jump up and down, touch your toes. No, okay, I just made that one up. But there's loads of information out there on the internet. Some of it really good, some of it utter shite. And you become overwhelmed and then you maybe just get to that stage of not doing anything. Your anxiety increases and the bleep test then becomes even harder in your head before you've even started. Number four, a really common one. You've got a bleep test coming up. You're well prepared. You're months in advance, three, four months in advance. Yes, I've got this bleep test. I'm going to start training on Monday. But that Monday never comes. For whatever reason, you don't start with the months then lead into two months, then lead into one month, then lead into two or three weeks. You've done nothing, you've not prepared at all. (sighs) The anxiety goes through the roof. You don't know what you're going to do. You're not going to get that job. You're not going to stay in the job. You're going to be pulled off the street. You're going to be made restricted duty. You're now on full-on panic mode. Right, let's cut through some of this stuff. No matter where you are in life, no matter where you are in your fitness journey, you can improve and then pass the bleep test. Okay? 100% you can improve then pass whatever bleep test you need to do. Get that in your head early doors. That'll then help reduce that anxiety. The simplest ways to reduce all anxiety with these things that we've just talked about before is get a training plan and then follow that plan. Get the training plan early and follow the plan early that's going to give you more time to progress, especially if your progression is just a wee bit slower than other people because everybody progresses at different levels. Just because one person can move it and do it from, say, couch to level 5, 4, level 8, 8 in 4 weeks doesn't mean you will. Because we've all got different lives, we've all got different bodies, we've all got different things going on. We adapt and change in different ways. So give yourself plenty of time. Get a plan, follow that plan. The anxiety will drop as you get better, get more confident and you start ticking off the sessions. Yes, you're always going to have pre-test nerves. Don't confuse nerves with anxiety. Nerves are a really, really good thing. Expect to be nervous. Use these nerves as a sort of catalyst to help you perform better. I'm nervous when I do tests. I'm nervous. I was nervous when I played rugby games, regardless of who I was playing against. Nerves are a good thing. People who say they're not nervous, stay clear of them because they're talking absolute shite. Especially a male, a young male bravado thing. Oh, I'm not nervous. I can do this in my sleep. Fucking right, they're nervous. If it's a test to get into a job, part of an interview, if it's a test to stay in a job, test for a role, they are nervous. They're just bullshitting you. Nerves are good, so embrace them, give them a big cuddle, use them to your advantage, okay? Along with getting a really good training plan, there's other things you can use to try and reduce your anxiety early, especially when you're in the early stages of your training. I produced a kind of six-step kind of plan document, so I'll put a wee link for that in my captions. Go and grab it, go and read it's free, it doesn't cost you anything. It outlines a few other strategies you can use to try and kind of reduce and manage any anxiety you have as you're going through the training. But the one that really helps people the most get a training plan follow that plan as you get fitter get more confident the anxiety will drop last thing if you've made it this far you're probably interested in what i've got to say so why not give me a wee follow and i might be able to help you with other things with your fitness journey health fat loss whatever it might be all right thank you for listening take care and i will catch you later on